Just start off just nice and controlled. Three times there and back, white line to yellow on the jog, just nice and easy. Let's get it moving. I normally do about 10 yards. Yeah. So just on it for every movement. And then if I need to open it up or shorten it down as I go along, yeah, we do that. And then we'll go through just walking high kicks, nice and basic first. Just on the way there, we'll just jog it back. Or we'll hit the back, hit the back kicks on the way back, okay. kill it down. It's nice and controlled, bent leg, just in. So many kids trying flex the legs upwards. Yeah. And then it then obviously Give introduces and invites that little bit of a porter technique to do things. Open the gates. Yeah. Just close on the way back, lad. And then nice and controlled. We're going to walk and lunges into a sprinter's stance. So okay. instead of you get so many kids these days, and I used to do it, we all used to do it, it's like bop, bop, yeah. you know what I mean? You just get that like a half-hearted twist in it. Yet the rotation's good, but you want a rotation which is a little bit more natural. So yeah. like if you are doing rotations, it's the minor rotations, you know what I mean? Just to get the core activated in there. So I just go more of a sprinter stance lunge. So it's here, 90 degree angle, get the tension. Knee drive up, sprinter stance, get tension okay. in your upper and core as well. Then just step into the next lunge, okay. all right? Okay. Let's have it. Yep. Try and get four each leg. Stiff, back down. Stiff, back down. It's nice and controlled on the way down, nice and light, okay. nice and speedy. Flex on the way up. And let's jog it back. A little bit more rotation and stuff on this one now, okay. so it's karaoke, isn't it? Just straight into side shuffles, trying to pin it, balls of feet, yep. and then preventing obviously the, the feet from coming outwards. A lot of kids do that these days, and it's dead easy to do. Where, yeah, they start like this, but then they go bop, bop, yep. something like that, you know what I mean? So yep. it's here, and then just try and maintain it, even if it's not that fast. Okay. You get that nice knee under hip first, and then back into your stance again, okay. just like so. Go ahead, have a go there. Right. That's the one. Here we go. Keep them inside an ankles high off the ground. That's the one. Good lads. And then just go into like a two left, two right motion, forwards and backwards. Just one, two. Okay. Hit the line, nice and quick hips. And then we'll build the tension a little bit more. Just step okay. in front of here. All right, so from here now, this is what I've been doing the past few weeks. Go into that 90 degree knee drive again. As soon as we did there, we're gonna go for down for three seconds. All right, okay. so it's gonna be from here, Flex your toe, just full activation. You feel your foot moving as well. From there, bent leg in the front on the standing leg. Yep. And then we are one, two, three, hold, two, three, stiff, just so your core is still tight so we're not coming all the way okay. through. Let's do four more on each leg. Two, three. You're gonna fight the balance. If you need to fight it, fight it outwards. Okay. Then we're up. Back in again, two, three. Bang. You're feeling your glutes, yeah. IT bands, everything right now. Yeah, good one. Bop it in, fight the resistance. Up again, last one. Two, three, hold. Ooh. I'm fighting it here, back out. Yep. Bop. So that's the thing there, a lot of kids, Whoa. even in resistance, it's, it's, it's a hard one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's yeah, that, yeah. the training, yeah, that resistance. Yeah. But the balance is fighting there, bang. Yeah, for sure. And then it just becomes all in MCLs, LCLs, ACL tears, just fighting their resistance and training yeah. in the wrong way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's the, from there. The, on the swing down. I yeah, was, when oh, it's there, it tends to do that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, can you then fight it to there? And then if you can, there's that flexion of the ankle as well. Yeah, so it gets sure. a little bit more calf activation. It gets your inside ankle bone higher. It gets that more pogo for your sprint off there as well. Yeah. So from there, two, three, and then go on the other leg now. Awesome. So start off sprinter stance, fight it. My right leg's always better than my leg on it. Standing leg in it, three, two, one, bang. Doing this with weights in the gym, just holding. Mm -hmm. High, keep your hips high, so a lot of people sink over in the RDLs. Yeah. And then either doing a row or something. So I've done this yeah. before where I'm here, fighting the resistance with two heavier stuff, rowing, yeah. back down again there. Two, one, pop, Whee. fight it. Two, one, easy. 
Now, if you lean one side as well towards it, you will feel yeah. in your glutes and IT band a lot more. Let's kill one more on that. Three, two, one. Bob, stiff, back. All right, Whew. moving into it, lads. So what we're gonna do here is just get slowly up to speed a little bit more. Yeah. So we'll go into, again, everything around your lower body now and your core a little bit. Should be almost fully activated okay. in that sense. Now we're just building up the central nervous system a little bit more. So here, just fine off to the line so you know where you're popping on. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, land in an athletic stance we call. It's not too low. It's in a stance where you can still explode out of there. And then we'll hit about 50 to 60 to 70% on the run. So we'll just go a, a stride out jog first. Okay. Then you go into a little bit of faster pace than a faster pace. Perfect. All right, ready? So we're here, one, two, three, four, five. Lean into it and then just big one, big one, big one. And then just relax it there. And then we'll do it on the way back. So again, two, three, four, five, hold. Lean, big stride, big stride, big stride. That's the one. All right. On the strides, are you trying to drive your knees high? To try to so get out just to try and explode out of the blocks, okay. you'll end up starting low and almost leaning into it. So it's that first step that you're really focused gotcha. on. Then the rest of them should follow with the same length. Okay. All right, face me now. Same thing, same landing position, but this leg's just gonna pop over first, okay? okay? And then the next side will face the same way, this leg pops over. Okay. All right, ready? Two, three, four, five, lean, pop. And again, if. Oh yeah, yeah. So here, one, two, three, four, five, just when you're ready, pop, pop. All right, last one, we go backwards. <clears throat> this should be more or less the fastest one. Okay. So from here, nice and controlled. Same again, face the trees, whatever shoulder, if you turn off the right first, turn off the left next time. Okay. So two, three, four, five, hold, lean and flip. So there, nice and controlled into it. Doesn't even have to be full speed right now. Yeah. Bob it in two, three, four, five, lean and flip. All right. Yeah, the leaning is the part I'm forgetting sometimes. Yeah. So it's like you're fighting resistance with really no resistance on yeah. you. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? So from there, I always get the kids to try and catch themselves as well. And yeah. myself, in this sense, like, yeah, you really aim for your chest over knees, over toes, really, on the back pedals. But from here, if I'm in a game, you're not always going to be in that position. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So as soon as you get used to, fighting resistance in the wrong way to get yourself back up right. Yeah. That's when obviously the athletes come in. Do you yeah, know what I mean? For sure. So from here, if I'm doing like a back pedal movement, I'll do the same. I'll still land there, but I'll get a lot of the kids in the warm up too. Try and lean away from it first yep. and be able to catch themselves in the run. Yep. So from here, it's pop. Do you know what I mean? Yep. So it's like you're leaning back into it. Yeah, for sure. A lot of the times they are leaning back, they're in a back pedal like that. Yeah. And then, yeah, they're off balance, but can they do that? But then still maintain to turn twist the body again. Yeah. So I'm not really <laughs> promoting leaning back, yeah. but I'm just putting them in positions what they may really be in, that they're not always going to be perfect technique, do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's one of them. absolutely. I can't just, yeah, well, sometimes we're just standing there and they start moving, but I want the kids to get active first just so they are moving. Arm action right, and then it's enter, bop. Bop, over-exaggerate the height of the hurdle, then we're out. Okay. And then it's fully out. Oh, jeez, missed that one. Shows you that I can't even do my own stuff down. Yeah. So from here, fully out, fully out, okay? okay? Just so they're really getting that footwork pattern in there. Perfect. Not that they really need it, because they can do that, and then do that, yeah, and yeah, just yeah, check. Yeah. But on the warm-up phase, just moving through it, because in a minute, when we do do this, we're going to go through, bop, 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 touch, pass. Okay. Move it there again, okay. so we need to be fully out of there. And then, as soon as we've done that, we're out of there. Whatever way we want to face, I've been doing this this week, and it's worked good. Even with the uh, the beginners, because yeah. they're getting used to angling the hips. Mm -hmm. A lot of them start off running to this pole and just going like that. And I've had them staying lower, arm out as well, arm out as well. Okay. That one looks a bit funny sometimes yeah, because yeah, yeah. Sure. they start grabbing the pole and all yeah. that. But yeah. from here, bop, there, blue, and then we're right out, okay? Right. Right. And we slip there like, but whatever side I really emphasize, if I do say blue or I do say red, if, even if I'm facing, I'm getting out this way. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay. If I say red, I'm not going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that can be done, but it's just a reaction play Optimize to go out there. trajectory, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'll do a set, you do a set, lads. Yeah, sounds good, man. Active, exaggerate, bop, 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 then with it. 
Bop, bop, that was a terrible one. There, bop, blue, there. Okay. On it, and we move. Okay. All right, you're still going to the left first. That's the one. Bop it off, now we're through. One, two. Now we're in hips, 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 hips. Two, every two steps, every two steps. Blue, there, good. Nice work. You called me on the, on the red and blue. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll call you. I called myself before. Yeah. I was like, yeah, blue. <laughs> I nearly, got, nearly went to red. Aye. Oh, wow. Exaggerate. Bop, bop. There. Good. Shh, shh. Right. Good. Aye, right, ready? Two, one. Off we go. Bop, bop, bop. And we're out. Now we're in. One, two. All right. Nice and controlled. Nice and controlled. Here we are. There we are. Red. Here we go. Well done, fella. Oh, we now aim to do about four of these. Okay. So this one we should be at almost like 80% now. Okay. All right, now we're gonna Burner. go over to the yeah, right side now. I'll follow you on this one. Oh yeah, two, one, we're in. Pop, pop, pop. There. Blue. There we go. Like it. Okay. Oh, jeez. Cool. Ready? Off we go. Bop, 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 like it, there we go. Nice and controlled, there we are. Twist, twist, twist. Red, the reaction, like it. All right, Whoa. now we introduce the ball. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Popping into good. it. 